in Yoim Machmadim, Sichus Kaidish from Rabbi Yaakov Meir Shech, the Shlitos of Zayin Gesund. Brings down in Perik Yud, Shabbos Kaidish, Nafshi Chaylas Abba Secha, page Kuf Aleph, 101. He says that the Baal Shem Tov brings down, the Baal Shem Tov, Schus Yogan Aleinu, brings down an Eitz on the floor, a wondrous piece of advice. That only the Baal Shem Tov, Rakash, a Baal Shem Tov, HaKadosh, Yochol Osis, Eitz HaKazais. Only the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh can give such an Eitzah. Hayyuzeh, Kasher, Higi, El HaBaal Shem Tov. There was a story. Somebody came to the Baal Shem Tov, Adam Shavur, Umuduka, Kicheres HaNishmar. A person who was broken, Tzibrachan, like a broken vessel. Machma Shebnai, Yotza Lutar Bisra, Vihishtame, Drachmona Litzlan. He had a son that went off the derech. Not only that, he became Christian. Rachmana Litzlan. Who could possibly fathom the depth of pain of such parents and such a tzara, such a terrible, terrible pain? And this Jew, he stood weeping in front of the Baal and he screamed out, he cried out, Rabbi, to new Eitzah, give me advice, to new Eitzah. I cannot deal with the pain. What can I do to bring my child back to me? The Baal Shem Tov said the following. I only have one Eitzah for you. Only one piece of advice. You should enter, take in, the love that you have for this child into your heart. You're feeling hatred, you're feeling pain, you're feeling shame. And the love is like on the outside, right? You should open your heart and bring it inside. I have a gedoyla, such great, tremendous love, belim etzarim, without boundaries. Not conditional. Don't let anything get in the way. And it should be belim etzarim, without any boundaries. V'tiska geya a love, and you should yearn for your child. And that's the way to pull him out from the clutch of the klipos. It's interesting that we have this from the Chazanish, and we have Reb Gershon Edelson Shlita Zazayin Gazunt, and he says, You're never going to find one problem that everybody says there's no other solution. You could try this, try this. But the Baal Shem Tev says, and the Chazanish said, and Reb Gershon brings it out, he says, you could search high and low. Zui hatrufah yichida. All the other things that are involved in the sugya of pulling your kid out of their spiritual mess is all from the Gayim. It's all just getting in the way of the only Eitzah that any Gadol, and I have a collection of thousands, no Gadol said differently. The person has cancer, you have radiation, you have chemo, you have to deal with it. This is spiritual cancer. And he says that the chemo for this is only one thing. Open your heart to feel tremendous love that you're yearning for him. I miss him. I love him. Figure out how to do that. All this other stuff is getting in the way of that. All the fighting, all the arguing, all the things that we say and that get us aggravated and frustration, it's very real. This isn't easy. But he says, this is the only medicine to heal the cancer. That's why all the things that we do, that people don't understand, what about the rules, the consequences, boundaries? The kid has cancer. And the only thing is love. And though that, because of the way that the kid internalizes those beautiful things that we do with rules, consequences, and boundaries, and they don't appreciate it, it blocks the IV drip of the only thing, the only thing that could save them. So why would you let anything get in the way? So I always tell parents, you have a track record, and you can look back, or you could do something. Say, please don't come in the house dressed like that. And then look, did the relationship, did the ahava go down in the connection between you? 90, 80, 70, did it drop? Are they angry at you now? Do you feel, are you feeling frustrated and anger towards them? That's killing the whole medicine. This is the only part of it that actually helps. And when they get better, all the problems that you're frustrated about go away on its own. Because they're better. And this was not just a boy who was 
Nebuch doing Averis, but not just Chil Shabbos, he shmad. He became Christian. And, and only one thing, love. Love somehow became a full letter, like a, a dirty word. We think it's an American concept. No, this is a Torah concept. Ahava, also four letters. Ahava, love, hi haneshek hagodol v'hamoyl b'yoyser. It is the greatest weapon. It's a weapon of mass, not destruction, construction. Right? And it's the only thing that works. Lehoi v'sazulas b'simcha. To love somebody else with simcha. Being happy with them. L'doinoi l'kav schus. To be dan people l'kav schus. L'oir ahava e love. To awaken love towards that other person. V'zeh inyin achel agamri. Ki oz li nitfas etz li ra'ayin. Because then it, you're not going to feel down towards them, dark towards them. Love is the only thing that works, as we have seen. All this other stuff, telling them, advising them, is dealing while somebody is sick, dealing with them and not healing them. And it perpetuates the, perpetuates the sickness and it makes it go longer and longer. And without giving away identity, we have a woman sitting here today like I just told you before, if anybody a few years ago would have wanted to take, what are the odds that her son would be keeping Shabbos today? I don't think it was one in a hundred. Apiteva, impossible. We're not going to get into all the bad, horrible places that he ended up, but because of her tremendous love and dedication, he shaymed Shabbos today. Yeah. Beyond. Every, everybody in this room is going through Tsaris and all have difficult cases. But his case is one of the worst ever. If he, can, if he can come back, anybody can come back. So what brings them back? Not the rules, and not the boundaries, and not the I'm not proud of you, and looking down, and this isn't okay, and all of that judgment. He says, when you're down, then you're not looking down at the person. And it's not getting in the way of the pure, unadulterated love that is the most powerful thing in the world. Shalom HaMalach says, Ki aza kamaves ahava. Love is as strong as death. So the stipler is, what does it mean? What does love have to do with death? So he answers that just like when it's time, just like when it's time to die, nothing could stop death. So too, he says, love, nothing could stop love. And love is the only thing that brings people back to Hashem. Now it happens to be that a lot of people who come here, almost everybody, they're not just dealing with a spiritual problem, they're dealing with an emotional problem. Drugs and violence and depression, and anxiety, eating disorders and all of this stuff. Actually, I've proven that there is no spiritual problem. If you deleted all the pain that they went through, they're, they're firmer than we are. And that's our job, to take away the pain. And what takes away the pain of, of a child? Feeling loved and appreciated. And we take away our love, shining our love to the kids who are the most vulnerable. They went through so much, they're stabbed, they have internal bleeding. That causes them, and it's already proven, causes them to not be able to function properly, which causes them to look for pleasure anywhere they can. So the skirts get shorter and the, the, everything, the yarmulke comes off and, every, and they're going through a dark time. And then a lot of parents take away my pride from you. I'm no longer proud of you. And that hurts them more than all the pain that they got because they feel abandoned by my mother and my father. And if you speak to the kids, that's what it is. And we've lost so many kids in Klal Yisrael, thousands of suicides and overdoses from kids who felt abandoned by their mom and dad. And we need everybody. We need aunts and uncles. Everybody has to be part of fixing the problem. Because you could have 100 people in the family and they get one look from a cousin, from somebody who says something stupid, and it kills them. We had a kid who came into a chasana after two years of rehabilitation. The rehabilitation was TP parents being here doing TP. That was it. And the kid went from being homeless to moving home, being at home, from being dark and depressed and, and in their room and in his room and stuck and all, to being happy. And his mamish came to a place where he had a family wedding and he said, I'm going to the wedding. He took a haircut 
And no, he didn't look like the rest of the family when he came in. He even put on a necklace sp specifically to dress up. Now, he grew up like us. He should have known. People don't understand the sugya. They don't understand. And he looked very different in a basically light gray suit. And, you know, but he went. Just today, a parent showed me a picture of their daughter. It does not look from, does not look Jewish. And they said, wow. This is the first time in over two years that she went shopping. For us, this is the greatest thing. She was locked in her room for a year and a half. They came here a couple months ago. And, they, and now she went into a store. And somebody else in the store can go ahead and say, Shiksa, and say, what are you doing here? You come dressed like that. They don't realize that these are trauma victims, that they're finally getting out of bed, and, and, and they look down at them. And they don't do any of the, the stuff that the G'daylum did. They don't have an ayin taiva, they have an ayin ra. They look down, they, they're judging negatively. They say, no, I'm not judging negatively. Yeah, yeah, it's not Don Lekavskos. And they don't, it's a sugi that we all need to know. So one person can ruin it. If one person would have gone over to her in the store and said, you couldn't dress nicely to, go, to, to come to a Frum shopping center, that's it. Most dangerous thing, she could have fallen back into depression. She could have had two years away from becoming Shema Shabbos and all those Averis for two years go on the cheshman of that person. And he doesn't even know and he thinks he's doing God's work. Medrash Sifri says, Whoever causes someone to stumble, who He gets replaced all on the credit card bill. All the Einshim for all the Averis go to that person. it says, Bottom line is, this guy came in and everybody was nice, except one guy went over to him and said, so you're trying to make everybody look at you? You want to get everybody's attention? You, can't, you, you couldn't get a dark suit or whatever he said to him with a snarky... And the guy left and he stuck a needle in his arm. And he was back on heroin after, after being clean for months. He was very vulnerable. And, and, and where? Where did he get this from? Ahav is the only neshek which is authentic Torah medication, and the way to deal with other people. And Siva Shalom says, Musr and Chasidus, when you learn it, it's meant for yourself, not for somebody else. We get a little bit firm when we start being upset in other people that they're not from. We go to a Tzniyaz class, we start seeing everybody else's lack of Tzniyaz. We go to a Chasidus class and we see, Mami Hashem is amazing, and we feel so close to Hashem, so we start looking down at all the people who aren't on our level. That's the biggest trick of the Eight Sahara, because there's nothing Hashem hates more than somebody who's a Bagaiva. And you're using it to think, I'm better than somebody else. We have so many Shtikluch Tayyar, now is not the place. Musar and Chasidus says in the Siva Shalom, it's for you to improve yourself, not to start becoming uh, somebody who looks down at other people who aren't Zaycha to your high level. So that's what we have to remember from this Baal Shemta. We have to ingrain it. It's a very, very big shame that we have Hasidim, especially, that the whole Hasidus and every Hasidus is different as you think you are, from Lubavitch to Satmer and everywhere in between. You're all coming from one Sherish, the Baal Shemta. And he said these words, only love, only love, only love. And we have Hasidic people who are Merachik, Jews doing the opposite, and they can't believe that why it's not working. And they cause destruction. Now, the Litvish are not off the hook. The Chazanish said the same thing. Seven words. Try to pull them in with ropes of love. You don't need the person. You don't control the other person. You control yourself. So you can pull somebody. You know how hard it is to move somebody's mindset from atheist to believing in God, from Christian to being from, from Michal Shabbos to wanting to keep Shabbos, and in our sugi, because it's all the same path, from wanting to die to not wanting to die, from, from facing down into lich, to, to wanting to live and wanting to build a life, wanting to get married, wanting to be part of our community. Wow, that's a lot of Mashiach of Ahava. Only you can do that. And as long as you don't do that, you can give great gift bombs and time bombs, and you got to try that. But it's all in here. You're not giving you. Rachman Aliba, boy. God needs your heart. Your kids need your heart. And that comes with understanding trauma, so that way it helps you not look down at them. Some people are natural. Some people just don't look down at anybody. They see somebody not behaving properly, and they automatically understand that that person has a reason, they probably went through something, and whatever it is, or let's say they're in Russia. So how do you deal with a Russia? Love. 
There is no other way. Our job is to love every single person, not make a cheshben of why they're doing it, how come they're doing it, and believe me, I'm doing this for 20 years. And if you go to these people who are annoying you and frustrating you from people, and you go ahead and you hypnotize them so they'll tell you their whole story of pain, they have so much pain in them, they have so much pain in them, if we injected it into our veins for 30 seconds, we would be much worse than them. We would go crazy. We'd be cursing Hashem much more than they are. Bidan lekaf schos. Nobody's saying, I wish I was in the next Gilgal. Please send me down like these kids. Nobody wants to be them. But really, the Nisayin is not what they're going through. The Nisayin is on us, that we shouldn't lose our ayin toif, that we shouldn't lose the ability to love every single person. And we do it naturally with someone who's a tinik shenishba, somebody who grew up not from, in public school, we love them. And what about a tinik shenishbar? Somebody who's broken, our own kids. We have to do this for all of our children, those who are from, those who are struggling, those who are challenging, those who are OTD, what they call, which doesn't exist, no matter what. There is nothing else. So you have to look at when you see somebody that's causing you to judge them, that's my Nisayan. I just found my Nisayan. I It's hard for me not to judge that person. And you have to work on yourself to be an Ayav Yisrael. Lehoiv is called Yehudi, to love every single Jew, regardless of what their behavior is. And when you can do that, and you have these holy, pure, beautiful eyes, your kids will become close to you like a magnet. Like a magnet. Everywhere you go, you'll attract those kids. The kids on the street, they are like pulled, drawn to certain people out there that they're just so non-judgmental. When we do that, we will save every single kid. And that's the job of us and our dar. This is the chanoich l'dar al pidarkoi. This is the education that we need for ourselves. Hashem obviously wants us, all the from people, the frumies, right? The black hatters, the black and white. He wants us to be judged, to be challenged, to see if we can love every Jew. And he gave us this Nisayin. It's not them. These kids are mamish. Whether you call them Aynis, whether you call them, it doesn't matter what you call them. They're so tzemisht. It's all upside down. And the only medicine is love. So the challenge is not what they're going through. That's their nebuch. I don't know why they were chosen. What did they do in a previous Gilgal to come down for this? It's hard to understand. What a terrible life they have. But the challenge is on each one of us. And we have to make sure we start with the, some people look down at people who are from. Some people look down at people. What, we have to have zero looking down at anybody, no matter what they do. And with that, we could save every single yid and everybody in their family and everybody in your community. And you're going to be like a magnet for all these souls that need acceptance and love, like we've proven over and over and over and over.